The Orange Zone is brought to you by Hyundai. See your Colorado Hyundai dealer. All season, we've met the super fans of all super fans. And this morning, we're inducting our final super fan into this season's Orange Zone. And it might seem fitting to end at the beginning with one of the original Broncos cheerleaders who's been bleeding orange and blue since 1960. She sat down with Michelle Griego. I twirled two batons, I twirled fire, I twirled hoops, you name it, and I twirled it. At the age of 76, Nancy Elfson can still twirl a baton. What I really like to do is putting it under this leg and catching it under this one. They were also the days of Jean Mingo, the Bronco place kicker who was one of the best in the league in punt return. She got the chance of a lifetime when the Broncos became a team in 1960. Well, I was excited because, you know, we had a professional team. I would watch pro football with my dad. I, I just, I liked it. So at the age of 14, Nancy auditioned to be a Broncos cheerleader, then called the Bronquettes and made it. It was really fun. I mean, it was work, but it was fun. When they presented the colors before the game, whatever band was, was doing that, um, we were in front of them and they were, we were doing our routine. Everything was good until one game, a player accidentally ran into a bronquette. She got tackled, broke her leg. So the next year, I think you had to be 18. So I kind of hated her for the rest of my life. No. <laughs> Being too young, she couldn't cheer or twirl for the team anymore and never got the chance to meet her favorite Bronco player, Bud McFadden. He was like one of the first Broncos that came off the bus when we were greeting them when they came to Denver. And I just saw those big blue eyes and I'm like, ah. <laughs> She never met her second favorite, John Elway, either. But you never met him in person? No. I bought two cars from <laughs> <laughs> Nancy left twirling behind and became a registered nurse for 30 years. And more than six yeah. decades after being a bronquette, she still roots for the Broncos every week. What do you think of the Broncos this season? <sighs> I love them, so you know it, it. It it doesn't matter if they win one or none; they're my team. Uh, she kind of sums it up for all of us, right? Pretty much. I, I love seeing those old pictures, the video. I love that. I stuff. love the uniforms. They should bring those back. Very cool. All right, before every home game this season, Michelle has shared incredible stories of some incredible fans, from a woman who has transformed her Windsor home into an orange and blue mecca to the man they call the Orange Vader. It's been so fun getting to know these fans. Definitely, and you can see all of our super fans inducted into the Orange Zone season on CBSColorado.com.